everybody so I'm back in the kitchen today and I wanted to try those cranberry beans and see if I liked them so the first thing I did was soak them for about two hours and then I rinsed them off real good and they were kind of a different texture after I got done rinsing them you'll just have to try it for yourself to see how it feels because it was a lot different than per se soaking a pinto bean or, uh, or lima bean and uh, yeah so now I'm just boiling it and seeing how it's going to turn out and the water has turned pinkish red well you're really not going to be able to see how pinkish red that is if I'm using a pink spoon <laughs> Look how a, the bean color itself has changed. Well, I'm interested to see how these are gonna taste. So, I've got my timer set for an hour and I'm gonna turn down the heat and just kinda simmer them and then in an hour I'll check them and see how they're looking and tasting and feeling. So while my cranberry beans are cooking, I looked up some recipes and I'm going to be doing some vegetables with my cranberry beans when they're done. You can eat them hot or cold. So, but I found some other interesting information that I want to share with you. And I'm going to try to grow my own cranberry beans because you can grow from the dried beans that you buy from the store. Uh, my mom's mom used to grow pinto beans. After she would buy a bag of pinto beans from the store, she would save some to uh, plant. <laughs> cranberry beans, I'm reading this to you. The cranberry beans are easy to grow plant, but they're neither a pole or a bush bean they actually grow on a stalk so that's quite interesting uh, it says it can get up to six foot tall now I haven't seen a picture of it yet so I'll keep looking for that it says due to the height that it can get it does need to be staked up and it will grow well if it's planted in a large container so you can do like a half barrel container or like what I have out here I have all those containers that minerals were put in for uh, cattle and such so I know that they're food grade growing cranberry beans can be planted against uh, trellises as well or the TP style support that you uh, have maybe seen around or seen on Facebook how it says however you decide to grow it the cranberry bean uh, remember that they prefer a warmer client client <laughs> they prefer a warmer climate excuse my mistakes that I make or laugh at them like I do <laughs> I'm gonna try to get out either today or tomorrow depending on how my leg is doing it says to uh, soak the dirt well I'll just read it to you to start from dried seeds soak some quality potting soil with water until the consistency is like mud. Poke a few dried cranberry seeds and allow to dry slightly. And then transfer the still moist soil and seed combination into uh, smaller pots. Cover with plastic wrap and place in a warm area to germinate. And it also tells you how to start from fresh cranberry bean pods but since I don't have that I'm not gonna read that to you I'm thinking about making some corn cornmeal what's it called there goes my train of thought cornbread oh my goodness I'm thinking about making some cornbread to go with it but I'm also thinking about putting in the vegetables um, I don't have any ginger but I have uh, tomatoes and onions that I can put in there, some garlic, 
It also talks about some uh, spices that you can put in there. Cranberry bean salad with basil, mint, and feta. Ooh, yummy. That sounds really good. What do cranberry beans taste like? Cranberry beans, this is what it says, and I haven't tried it yet. They're much sweeter and more delicate in taste than common pinto or kidney beans. Their beautiful red cranberry beans are popular in a lot of Italian, Italian and Portuguese and Greek cuisine. Cuisine? Cuisine. 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 However you say that. Okay. Food, basically. <laughs> Italian, Portuguese, and Greek food. They're bright, light colored beans with cranberry speckles. They're creamy in texture and have a mild, nutty flavor. Look into getting some cranberry beans and giving them a try. And like I said, when I go out to plant my dried cranberry beans, I will bring you along for that. So, thanks for staying with me and uh, putting up with my mistakes and loss of thoughts and it's not that I'm on medication because I hate taking medication. So um, a lot of it is just the, the pain, you know, the pain affects your thoughts and uh, it also affects my, my eyesight. I am now rambling. So I'm gonna stop rambling and get up and go pause this video and do something else. <laughs> okay. Well, can you see behind me? I don't think that those steps are going to be doable this afternoon. But I really want to get those cranberry beans in some dirt. Just don't think I can make it down those steps. Get John to help with that pot right there that reddish in the meantime you guys i have a flower pot in the house that is empty <laughs> so we're gonna put a bean in it are you ready let's go okay guys here's my empty flower pot and i have some old tums bottles that would have some like calcium residue on them. I want to be able to amend my soil in this one just a little bit. And this is what I have to work with in the house. I do have some bone meal outside that I would have put in the container. We're just going to work with the residue of the tum bottle right now and then when John gets home I might be able to talk him into bringing a pot up on the porch but for right now we're just gonna do this so I'm gonna get this all nice and wet like the instruction says until it's like muddy I don't remember what kind of plant was in there, but that was an owie. Okay, so here's my little bag of cranberry beans. Cranberry beans. So let's just poke this in the ground. One. Poke this in the pot. Two, three, four, five, and one in the middle for six. So that's probably an overkill, but that's okay. See if we get some sprouts pretty soon, you guys. Won't that be exciting? <laughs> it's been about an hour, and that made up a nice pot of beans, as you can see. And also, as you can see, they just look like regular beans.
And these onions are from my garden. And I'm just going to add those to our tomatoes. Because later I'll use some of this mixture in a pasta salad. So, all right, so now all I got to put in there is the red pepper and the cucumber. And then we'll mix it with the beans, and I think I'll put a little bit of Italian dressing with it. That ought to be really good. So I'm just going to put a spoonful of my veggies in there. Maybe two spoonfuls. That looks really good, doesn't it? All right, let's add some dressing. I'm going to add some zesty Italian dressing. Just a couple squirts, dribbles. And then I'm just going to lightly toss that. I would definitely do it again, but when I do, I wouldn't cook my beans an hour. They're a little bit mushy. Mm. And I think they are just a little bit sweeter than pinto beans. Mm. Thank you, Jesus, for my food. You know what? Next year, there's a potential that I will have every bit of this from my garden because I planted those cranberry beans and the peppers and the onions and the cucumbers, tomatoes, all came from the garden. Hmm. So if you guys can get a hold of cranberry beans, get you some and cook some up. Go out and enjoy life, you guys. Till next time.